you spell your name for me, John? S-N-O-W-B-E-R-G-E-R. -E Obviously, we're not going to use that part. I just want to get your name right. Thanks. <laughs> okay, and uh, what, do, what do we have here? Tell us a little bit of, about this Indy car. Well, this was my dad's race car from 1952. He built it, uh, raced in the Indianapolis 500 in 52 and 53, and raced all the other major races across the country, the championship car circuit at that time. In 1954, it set a record in the Pikes Peak Hill Climb. Uh, my dad campaigned the car from, like I say, 52 until 1958 and sold the car to a local guy that raced at Mount Clemens as a sprint car, and he drove it for a couple of years. Long story short, I bought the car back when he passed away in the late 80s, and I restored it back to the condition it was when it last raced. Okay, what, what's this car powered by? Well, originally it had a 270 Offenhauser engine, four-cylinder, which is what all the Indianapolis cars ran. Now it has a Buick V8 in it, which my dad put in it in 1958 to run the Pikes Peak Hill Climb, and that's what it's powered with the same engine. Okay, and uh, boy, this is this car is pretty amazing. Uh, who uh, made is this Federal Engineering? Who made the actual chassis and the body? Well, the chassis and the body is a Curtis Craft 4000 model, which was one of the popular cars at the time. The car was actually, like I say, made to run Indianapolis and the dirt tracks. It's what they call an upright car. Uh, it was the style of the time. And we have some famous drivers who've driven this car? Oh, yeah, Tony Bentonhausen, uh, Paul Russo, Larry Crockett, a lot of the famous drivers, Roger Ward, two-time winner of Indianapolis. They've all been in the car. What's the highest the car's ever placed in the Indy? Well, at Indianapolis, it didn't have a real good record. They went out with trouble. It was running in the fifth position in 1953, and they had a real good shot of possibly winning or running on top. Uh, although it was a very hot day, and the driver, Gene Hartley, was running, like I say, in fifth, went out after a pit stop, and the car had a full load of fuel, which had had 55 gallons of fuel in the back at the time, and the car handled completely different, and he backed it into the wall. He just told me he got out of rhythm, and that was probably the best shot it had at doing real well at the Speedway. But uh, like I say, as far as on the champ car circuit, it had some third-place finishes, I think, at Milwaukee and Syracuse, and uh, the record at Pikes Peak. How many cars like this do you think are left out there? Very few. There weren't that many of them made to begin with, but this is one of the few survivors, especially being an original condition car. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's very interesting. I love doing these things. Okay. <laughs> Actually, when I was restoring this car, the aluminum that I was using to, to uh, put some pieces back together in the car, I decided to make a little small handcrafted model of the car. Uh, long story short, one person saw it, another person saw it, and I found myself in a business full-time building model race cars. And uh, these are a couple of them here. Like I say, they're all completely handmade. The one on top is a series of 35 that I'm doing with Mario Andretti right now, which he's autographing. It's a model of the STP car he drove in 1970. The lower is one of the Roadster models of A.J. Foyt's car, and uh, it's been a fairy tale business. Ever, ever since I got the big car and restored it, it's just been fantastic. And uh, this has spawned me into this business. Now, are these special editions? Are there like so many made each year? Yes. Uh, like I say, the Mario Andretti car is one of 35. And I try and, and keep the numbers down. And uh, every year I come out with a new series. I've had Parnelli Jones with the car he won with back in 1963. Uh, Al Unser, the four-time winner. We did one of his cars last year. So it's, uh, it's unique. Okay, great. Thanks Thank again. You. Thanks a lot. I'm glad you mentioned it.